Hey, sweetie. I'm about to head out, so can I borrow one of your... Hey, what's going on? Why are you still in your pajamas? I thought you'd taken a shower already. Wait, are you okay? You don't look so good. You don't look fine. Your forehead is sweating and your eyes are all red. I didn't really notice when I got out of our bed this morning since I was kind of groggy myself. But did you have trouble sleeping last night? No? Okay, well, you look exhausted. Are you okay? Are you... Are you sick? How are you feeling? You don't feel good? That sucks. Do you think you might be sick? Here, let me come over and feel your forehead for a sec. Just stay still. Ah, yeah. Yeah, you're sick. Your forehead feels like a furnace. You're sweating way too much, and it's so warm. My palm was only on it for a second, and it's already drenched. Here, let me wipe that off. Hey, no, 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 don't apologize, love. I didn't mean it like that. Don't worry, it's not your fault at all. You can't control being sick. I'm just worried about you, that's all. Yeah, look at your eyes. They're all red-rimmed and your nose is red too. And you keep sniffing. Is your nose all snuffed up? How does your throat feel? Really sore. That sucks. God, you must feel awful. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I was so focused on my morning routine and all, I just assumed you were getting ready in our bedroom. Here, let me get you some... Late for what? Work? Oh, I'm not gonna go into work when you're feeling like this. I'm going to text them and let them know that I'm taking a personal day off. Just let me get my phone. No, you're not fine, and I'm not leaving you here alone when you're like this. I don't care about work. They can afford one day without me anyway. You need me more right now. No, no, don't even try to talk me out of it. I'm already writing the text. And... There. And it's done. Now forget about that. I'm here for you, okay? What do you need? I told you, you don't have to apologize, love. You didn't do anything wrong. Don't worry, just stay in bed. I'll take care of the rest. Here, those pillows are all over the place. You must have been tossing and turning a lot last night. Let me just fix them for you. If you don't mind lifting your head for a sec. There. That better? Good. And, uh, let me fix the covers, too. Make sure they're all nice and snug, you know? Here, does that feel good? Do you feel more comfortable? Or do you need them to be tighter? Maybe if I just... No, 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 it's fine. Don't get up. I can do it for you. Just relax, okay? No, it really, it's fine. Just let me... Hey, are you okay? What's with the look? That look. You're avoiding my eyes, and you look worried about something all of a sudden. Is there something wrong? You upset? No, I keep telling you, don't apologize. The only thing you need to apologize for is apologizing for so much for no reason. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry, just tell me what's wrong. Is there something you need? Aw, honey, I know that. I know you can do it yourself. Of course you can. I've seen you do so many amazing, unbelievable things in the time we've been together. Of course you can rearrange a couple of pillows yourself, duh. <laughs> I'm just fussing over you because I know you're not feeling the best right now. And I want to help you get back to feeling good, that's all. Is that... Is that why you look a little... Embarrassed? Aww. Hey, look at me, love. Please, just look up at me. You don't have to feel self-conscious about accepting my help, okay? 
I don't think any less of you for needing a little extra help once in a while. You know that, right? Aw, sweetie. You're the furthest possible thing from a burden. You're my everything, and I want to take care of you. Don't you ever forget about that, okay? Here, I think you need a little reminder. Mind if I give you a little kiss on the forehead? I don't mind if it's sweaty. <laughs> okay, tell you what. I know you've got this covered, so let's defy and conquer, yeah? You finish getting comfy in bed, and in the meantime, I'll get you your cold medicine. Oh, and some soup. Would you like some? Okay, yeah, sounds good. I'll just be a minute. If you need something, just holler, okay? I'll be right in the kitchen. I'm back. And I bring gifts. <laughs> it's chicken noodle with an extra pinch of salt, just how you like it. I figure you can't go wrong with the classics, right? Let me just set this down here on your bedside table. Oh, and here's your meds. I probably should have given those to you first. Let me just uncap it and pour it out. There. Yeah, the instructions on the side says one cup is enough. And if symptoms persist, we can just try another in a couple of hours. Here, ready? Um, I don't think so. Let me just read the label again to make sure. Uh, yeah, it's like the generic brand. Why? Is there something wrong with it? It doesn't taste good. Oh, I'm sorry, love. I don't think we have any other meds. That sucks. I didn't know. We just won't buy this brand next time, yeah? Hmm. You know what? I'll make you a deal. If you drink this for me this time, I'll give you something sweet to wash it down with, yeah? Good girl. <laughs> now bottoms up. Great job. Now, for your dessert. Hmm, peppermint. This med isn't half bad, actually. I don't... Oh, oh, there's that aftertaste. Never mind. Yep, you're totally right. That's fucking awful. <laughs> But hopefully, that kiss at the end at least made up for a tiny bit. Aww, you're so sweet even when you sound all snuffy like that. Now let's get you your soup. This will help with the sore throat. And you really need something nice and hot right now. Can you sit up for me? I just want to make sure you don't spill any of it. Thanks, love. Oh, and uh, here's your spoon. Enjoy. Is it good? Does it make your sore throat feel a little bit better, at least? Ah, <sighs> that's a relief. Hmm? Oh, yeah, you can have as much as you want. We still have more in the kitchen if you finish it. Oh, one more thing. What am I doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm laying next to you, duh. Even if you're sick, I can't just let you hog that nice, big, comfy bed to yourself all day now, can I? <laughs> but really though, I'm here for you, you know? I don't want you to be alone right now, so if you need some time to recover, then I'll just lie here next to you and keep you company. What if I get sick? Well, then I guess you'll just have to take care of me tomorrow then. Oh. And fair warning, I'm going to need more than just a kiss to deal with that medicine again. <laughs> You're sweet, but don't worry about me. I'm fine, really. Just relax and focus on feeling better, okay? That's the best thing you can do for me right now. Here, let me put my arm around you. Hmm, I like that. Snuggle in close. Come on, don't be shy. Do you like that? You know, I took a couple of pre-med courses in college. Did I ever tell you that? True story. And 
You know what the number one little known treatment for fever is? Doctors hate this trick. And it's called... Cuddles. Hmm. <laughs> Cuddling you is so much fun, I could do this all day. Maybe I will. <laughs> I love you too, darling. I love you so, so much. And thank you for letting me take care of you today. So, besides soup and cuddles, are there anything else you want to do today? Your choice. Completely up to you. We could catch up on our shows on my phone. Oh, I heard there's a new episode of...